I am 25110451 Lance Corporal Keeley from the Scottish Transport Regiment Royal Logistic Corps Volunteers. Continuation from the cadets I suppose and I don't know I just kind of enjoy it. I wanted to continue the lifestyle but I didn't want to commit fully to it and go full time regular because I liked my day job and I liked family life and that. I know it's a big commitment to go full time. A mixture of excitement and trepidation and ah, it was it was good. It was kind of uh, I'm not say scary, but it was it was something to look forward to. You know, it was a prospect of doing something different. Yeah, it was good. I am Peter Healy. I'm definitely excited. Um, looking forward to it because. As I always say, it's like um, being in the TA, it's like being in a Sunday League football team where you would just go to training all the time and you would just go train, 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 train and never be allowed to play in a match. So getting your mobilisation papers as you get on the first team to go and play in a match is because that's you want to do your job for real. You're training and you're, you're professional enough that you want to actually go and do it for real. So yeah, that was. That was my sort of way of looking at it, so I was quite excited to go to get my lot of papers here. Yeah. I had to prove myself big time. Got a lot of grief, got a lot of stick. Um, I had to get handy a few times, but yeah, I proved myself eventually and then I was almost accepted as one, so yeah. My main tasking was uh, convoy escort, so picking up the vehicles that were coming into Iraq with supplies, um, civilian and military vehicles bringing them from the Kuwaiti border up to wherever to, to go, Basra, Alabara, Nazaria, wherever. Um, yeah, so we just escorted them, just purely to prevent them, um, to get them back up if, there was, if they were ambushed, because the, the, the Jaysh al-Mahdi, the terrorists, were, they were operating in the area, they were obviously went to hit our supply lines, um, so our job was just to protect, protect those convoys. When I was out there, um, and the build up to it and afterwards, it, uh, and I always found that it was never my position to question the war as such because I became a soldier out of choice, I volunteered for it and if I didn't want to do it then I should have handed my, my kit in and, and walked away but um, I, the, the, I always believe that you know um, war and soldier, soldiering and war is an extension of politics when the politicians can't argue anymore that's when we come into it so I believe that when you get to that stage you pass politics so I'm, uh, at the time I wasn't political I wasn't political at all however now looking back on it yes I'm quite political as I've grown older and became mature I'm quite political and I think it was an abomination that we actually went there in the first place it was an absolute abomination it should never have happened um, it was um, built on lies and it was just, it was essentially big American corporate greed that sent us there. Would you do it again? <laughs>